Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, uh, we'll discuss about one more concept in operating system that is introduction to disk scheduling. So in our previous session, we have seen the disk structure. So where the data will be stored in sectors of a tracks of platters. So we have seen uh, multiple platters will be there. So stacked with a spindle. So it will be rotated continuously and the data will be stored in a magnetic form in sectors so there will be a head okay read write head which will be pointing towards the data on the sector so the complete structure we have seen in our previous session now in this session we'll see the disk scheduling so the computer will be having a lot of io request in order to read the data or write the data so accessing the data so how it will perform this processing or this accessing either read or write so that we will discuss in an introductory part and in our from our next session we will go by observing one by one right so let us start today's session that is the introduction to disk schedule introduction to disk scheduling algorithms so the first thing we need to know some key terms okay so before that this disk scheduling means it is a method used by os operating system to know what IO request? So here the IO request means either read operation or write operation. What IO request should be processed? Should be processed, right? So here there will be a number of IO request. Okay, so the computer system. can have multiple IO requests, multiple IO requests. So all these requests will be maintained in a request queue, okay. So there will maintain a request queue. So how these requests will be processed, that means either writing or reading, right. So from this request queue, the data or the request will be processed and it will complete its operation right so here how this will be happens so it if if all the requests will be uh, processed in a random manner okay then there might be a chance of having the starvation problem so starvation problem is one problem that may occur in the during this one so uh, similar to our process scheduling algorithms so in our previous sessions we have seen the process scheduling so if you are uh, talking about multi-processing system multi-processing environment so multiple processors will can be executed at a time but the cpu will be executing one process at a time so how these processes will be get executed how the cpu will be given to each and every process so in that uh, session also we have seen about the starvation problem so one problem in this uh, algorithm i mean this disk scheduling is starvation so starvation means the request with lower priority so the request with low priority may not be processed may not be processed so if some requests are not being processed for a long period of time that we call it as a starvation so we should be very careful that all the requests should be processed okay so efficient disk scheduling algorithm will give no starvation okay so first let us see the uh, terms which are being used in this disk scheduling and then we will see what are the different disk scheduling algorithms. We will list out the different disk scheduling algorithms. So the first thing, very important thing for this disk scheduling algorithms is seek time. 
seek time. Seek time means we know that the read write head will be moving forward and backward. Okay, so in order to access the data on the sectors because sectors will be having the data, right? So the time taken, time taken to move read write head towards a desired sectors or uh, cylinders so cylinders means a group of uh, tracks okay a group of tracks on every platter is called as a cylinder so time taken to move this read right head towards the desired sectors is a seek time and the next key term is rotational latency so what is meant by this rotational latency so as i said that all the disk okay all the disk so here platters we are calling it as a disk so all the disks will be connected to a spindle and this spindle will be keep on rotating right so this rotational latency means time taken by the disk here the disk means a platters okay by the disk to rotate to rotate until the desired sector desired sector that means a required sector he comes under the head comes under the head head means read right head okay so previously seek time means time taken to move the read right head forward or backward and rotational latency means rotation okay how many rotation the time taken to rotate the disk okay and the third one access time so access time means the time taken to complete the operation so to complete the read write operation so only the two things can be done either read operation or write operation and the last one is a starvation so starvation means so not processing the io request much more time okay it is we keep on waiting for its execution so that is a starvation so what are the main goals main goals for disk scheduling is seek time reduced seek time okay reduced latency so it must it must take minimum time okay throughput should be very high throughput means the number of io requests that are being processed at a particular time period okay so more number of requests should be completed right so that is a throughput and no starvation this is most important so if any one of the algorithm satisfies all these things that means low seek time low latency rotational latency more throughput as well as no starvation such algorithm is called as a efficient algorithm so there are many algorithms how we can process the io request okay so the algorithm which follows the all these things that is an efficient disk scheduling algorithm so efficient usage of read write operation so within a less amount of time so the accessing should be there okay optimized accessing of data now we'll see we'll list out what are the different disk scheduling algorithms and one by one we'll see in our next session i'll explain you about one by one in our next session so i list out all the disk scheduling algorithms so this disk scheduling algorithms mainly divided into uh, 
six categories disk scheduling so first one is fcfs fcfs means first come first serve okay so whatever the request comes first that will be executed first next sstf shortest seek time first shortest seek time first i'll write the abbreviation shortest seek time first and this is first come first serve and the next one is scan which is also called as an elevator algorithm scan and uh, c scan which is a circular scan circular scan look and c look which is a circular look circular look so these are the different disk scheduling algorithms okay so whatever the algorithms we have seen, seen earlier those are a process scheduling algorithms okay so these are the disk scheduling algorithms and these algorithms are mainly used to process the io request so process io request io request means both read and write operations reading the data from the hard disk and writing the data into the hard disk and it also gives fast accessing of data so if it is a read operation fastly how fast the data can be accessed from the file okay so these are all the disk scheduling algorithms we'll see one by one how these disk scheduling algorithms works from our next session so in our next session we will see these two algorithms fcfs and sstf okay first come first serve and shortest seek time first right so i'll stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much